Okay, this is a tutorial on how to install FreeBSD. I'm going to do it on a VM Fusion, which is for the Mac. Um, you can get VMware Server, which is for PC and Linux, and uh, those are free. You can also use VirtualBox. Actually, you can't use VirtualBox. There's a bug that doesn't let you run FreeBSD 7 in VirtualBox, um, and I don't think 6 works as well. Uh, but eventually, VirtualBox will mature to the point where it will actually you know, work. Um, if you're installing this on a server or on a computer, it will be exactly the same process except for you won't need to load all the um, VM stuff. So, oops. So, here we go. We'll do a new continue without disk. Use an operating installation disk from file. My file is in useful and then OS. Uh, of course, your file is going to be wherever you put it choose the ISO. You only need disk 1 of 7.1 for the way that I install it because I install it um, very base system and then uh, install ports from there. In the next video I'll show you how to install uh, ports and um, all that good shit. So let's change from operating system to other. Change from FreeBSD. Hit continue. Uh, customize the settings. I want 512 megs of RAM. So, oops, where do you go? There you go. Okay, uh, so I want 512 megs of RAM. I'm gonna bump this up. Well, I'll just do it. And let's see, I think that's all I really want to do with that. Um, so I'm gonna close this. This will take a second. Oh, and uh, I will eventually pay for the, uh, the software that I'm using to capture this video. So if you're uh, if you're wondering about that, yeah, I'll take care of that eventually. Um, okay, so it's gonna load. Uh, I think there's it opens a menu that we missed that you can um, skip past just by hitting any key. Before it does this loading, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll be installing it, and we'll be using. This is the menu I'm talking about. Okay, so just hit one. Let it do its thing. Yep, I have wonderful friends. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, FreeBSD is pretty great. Uh, it's great as a server. Um, I wouldn't recommend any other thing over it as far as a server. Uh, as a desktop, maybe maybe not the greatest solution. As you can see, I use Macintosh. Um, I'm gonna look at PCBSD after I get done with this. Whoops. Okay, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna hit standard. Gonna make sure select is selected. Hit enter, hit OK, hit A, it will auto configure. Um, this is the partitions, you don't have to worry about anything, just hit A and it'll automatically do it. That is assuming that you're doing an install FreeBSD and you're not dual booting. I chose Boot Manager, now hit OK, hit A, it will auto set up your uh, partitions. Okay, I don't want any of these. Tab, OK, CD, DVD, yes, and then it will start the install. Sometimes uh, the partitions you might just want to do a slash and a slash swap, or not slash swap, just swap, slash and a swap. And if you do just a slash and a swap, uh, that way you can maximize your space and you don't have to worry about going over. But uh, really, the best way to do it is um, the way it is recommended, unless you have something else that you're doing. I mean, it's it's made that way for a reason. Um, if you're doing like really really spacious web stuff then you would want to give like uh, your web directory whatever partition you were going to put that on would probably be like usr local slash www or something um, extra space or whatnot it's it okay uh, would you like to set up interfaces sure um, just select the uh, wait hold on yeah no 
yeah, I want DHCP. Uh, this may not work because I don't know. Yeah, it's working. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to name my computer mouse. I'm going to hit OK. Um, see, so it pulled up all these uh, DHCP stuff. If you don't want to use DHCP, you'll still get the same screen, and you just need to fill out what you need to put, like whatever your uh, network addressing scheme is. Um, and of course, you don't want to use DHCP if it's a server. <coughs> Do you want this machine? No, I don't want a uh, network gateway. Would mean basically making a machine a router. I don't want that. Do I want to configure INETD? No. Uh, do I want SSH? Definitely. Do I want anonymous FTP access? No. Do I want to configure the machine as an NFS server? No. Would you like to customize your system console settings? No. Would you like to set, yeah, go ahead and set that. Um, now I'm going to choose no. Go to uh, America. Well, you know, you, you choose your own shit, but whatever. Okay, so United States, just going to do generic central time, yes. Yes, I do want to enable Linux compatibility, and we're almost done. So that sets up uh, your basic stuff. Um, as SSH, you don't, it, the SSH for FreeBSD does not um, allow root to log in, which is a good thing. So you make a second user, and you make sure he's in the wheel group, the wheel group is the group that is allowed to um, become root via SU. Um, and sudo is not on FreeBSD. Um, by default, you can install it, but uh, sudo is not there. I'd always use VI if you're going to use a text editor. Learn it, know it, fuck the world, choose the wrench. Um, and uh, post. Anyway, so uh, to assist system use a PS2 serial bus or mouse, I don't think I know. Yay! Okay, there you go. Um, so, I don't really care about all this, and you shouldn't either. Um, previous CD collection? No, I don't want to browse the collection. Would you like to add any initial users? Yes. Uh, can I add a user? Can I add Dusty? Add, I'm going to get this password. Something stupid. Add, let's see, is that alright? Uh, group? I want to put him in a wheel. Make sure he's in wheel. Now I'll exit. Okay, and now I'll make I'm gonna make the root password something stupid, and FreeBSD is going to tell me it's stupid. I think. Nope. Let me do it. Okay. Uh, is it the general configuration? No. I'm done. Okay. So then now you're back to this menu. All you have to do is hit exit install, and then you hit yes. And then you will restart, uh, and then you should have FreeBSD pop up right after that. So. We'll see if it'll let us do that. So, uh, uh, my F1 doesn't work because it's locked. So you have to do like, it's like a function F1, yeah, if you're on a Mac, to get the uh, the VM to, to see it. Uh, okay, well, if you're on a Mac laptop. Well, I think that's true of the desktop too because they also have the brightness button. There we go.